how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a triceratops. Uh, I'm going to be using two things. I'm going to be using a regular pencil, which I cannot find, and I'm going to be using this, a uh, Krilla brand marker. Here's the, the pencil. Nope, that's a 4B. You need a 2B. Uh, yep, here it is. Regular pencil. Regular pencil just for the under, uh, you know, kind of the underneath stuff, and that's pretty much it. So, let's get started, okay? Uh, first thing I want you to do is, if you like learning to draw anything, dinosaurs, uh, your favorite cartoon characters, favorite characters from anything, for beginners, by the way, um, hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification. Normally I post four or five times a week, if not more, and sometimes multiple times a day. So, let's get started, okay? I'm turning my paper this way, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the Triceratops, just the headshot right now. There will be another video, by the way, of the Triceratops full body, but as far as right now, I'm just going to draw the head. I'm going to draw a line here for the underneath, fold down, and I'm thinking like a cone for the front of the face, like a cone shape. It's just kind of the structure I want. Hopefully you can see this. It's going to be real fast, though. Don't worry about it. So if in case you can't see it that well. Line over here. I'm going to throw a big flowery shape right here for the crown. Right, that crown, that cool thing that the Triceratops is known for. And a line over here for underneath. Kind of the neck and stuff like that. Um, I might actually extend this box too. That's why I use these really simple shapes. It's to kind of uh, just find my place. Gonna put a circle there for the you know general area the eye's gonna be. And uh, we're gonna draw a line out here. Line out here for where the horns are gonna be. Those horns that come out pretty wild. Um, I think that's it, honestly. We have enough structure. See how simple this is? Hopefully you can see it. And we'll erase it in a, a while here. But right now I'm gonna go on here with a marker. And I'm gonna go over here for the eye. First, I'm gonna go over here, curve, down, pulling in, kind of that peanut shape. Give it a little bit of an anger thing there. Pull back, pull back. If you like dinosaurs, by the way, like I said, hit that like button uh, so I can do way more dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. I wouldn't mind doing a whole lot of them here if you guys like it. Uh, over there on that side, I'm gonna go over here to the horn and. Draw that horn in, pull it back, curve line at the bottom here, curve line around the edge, curve line around the edge. The horns are pretty much always above the eye. Um, line over here for the far end, the brow, or uh, yeah, the brow, pulling up here for that, and then pulling back. These horns are actually kind of beefy, normally I wouldn't draw them like that, but I just wanted to. Go over here to the top of the head, pulling out. A little bump over here, out over here. And I'm going to draw the front horn right there. Okay. Down. And the front of the mouth is like a beak. Pretty much. Curve. Come out of my lines here. Line here. Line underneath. Part of the uh, jaw here, pulling up. Cool, 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 cool. Now I'm gonna do the cheekbone, which is sometimes people draw it as a spike, which I guess we can do that in a way. It's got this really sharp cheekbone. And let's go up to the crown next. All right, I'm gonna pull up a little bit because it's gonna curve around the corner. Over here, I'm gonna follow this kind of like octagon-esque structure like so pulling in line in here okay I'm gonna go down to the lower neck pulling a line in here pulling a line down all right next thing I want to do is I'm gonna erase my um, 
my pencil lines underneath there. So I'm going to grab an eraser. I like grabbing this kneaded eraser. And that's pretty much what I'm going to start doing. Don't forget to check out the description. There's a lot of tools in there to make you a better artist. There is a cool how to draw cute ebook in the description there. It's uh, if you like drawing cute stuff. There is also a um, my full lessons on how to you know draw like hands, how to draw um, the body. I go through every single body part uh, like uh, for the anatomy and stuff like that. Go check that out if you want to really upgrade your skill. Uh, I would absolutely uh, go check that out. Okay, deleted that. So now we're gonna go into like detail lines. So we have the general, you know, thing here. But my detail lines are gonna be thinner. That's the thing. So gonna be thinner. First thing I'm doing is draw the iris and the people there. Right on. Give it some personality. Draw a couple of lines here. Here for the front of the face. Um, I'm gonna draw the nostril here, and that looks like an apostrophe or something up here again I'm thinking of my lines as thinner that's the cool part about this this really cool thing is I'm gonna draw like you know striations on the see how the, these lines are thicker these are thinner and the thinner lines come out like detail you know like right now I could draw like little I don't know like cracks in the horn or something like that You know, and I have to show little, maybe like uh, these little directional lines in the face because I want to make it, you know, obvious. I put a little horn there at the end of the some cheekbone. Basically, these lines are going to form direction. Line up, make it a little smile there. Um, but since the front's like a beak, I'm gonna draw maybe these thin little thin. Remember, these have to be thin, otherwise they're gonna they're gonna overwhelm the form. Um, these thin lines over here for detail. Let's put a little shadow right here. See, so I have to draw a line down and a shadow because the sunlight is usually coming from above. I'm gonna draw a little bit of shadow. Let's draw the, the part over here, like where this is going to ramp off. So there's little tiny spikes, little baby ones at the end of uh, the tips of this crown. So you can kind of draw that in right there, see, with circles. Line over here. And line over here as well. These little lines, see I'm putting these tiny little lines, they show direction, right? What is the direction without, it's not like a full crack there where you can draw a thick line on it. You're just showing a directional change in form and maybe by forming the surface, like the shape of the surface. And so these little lines are there mostly to do that and they add detail. Like I'm gonna throw a little detail right here around you know that because you can see that the front of the head is like a like a weird shape I mean like the actual uh, sorry the actual shape of the face is a little odd Going over here maybe draw a little bit of a shadow here from the crown, what they call it the crown, right? And if you really want, you can draw like the back here at the beginning, but not much. Uh, I will do, I'm gonna draw a little cracks here. You can just keep going with this, right? But you, ha you can't go so far that it'll break, but you can kind of just keep throwing these little nick marks, you know, around, and it will slowly become more. There is a point where you draw too many of these nick marks and it will break the drawing, so you have to be careful. Um, maybe if you're, if you, if they're small enough, you might be able to do it all over, but, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this, by the way. Like I said, if you like dinosaurs and stuff, hit the like. I would love if these got really, uh, like, a lot of likes and a lot of views, because then I could just do a lot of dinosaurs on here. Um, please, 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 that'd be so amazing. And if you really want to help, 
The best thing you can possibly do for me is not even donate to the channel. The best thing you can do is to share the video. When you share the video like on Reddit or something, um, or anywhere, like anywhere, share it anywhere, share it with a friend, share it on a website, or whatever. When you do that, it really, really, really um, kind of helps, how do you say, morale. It brings back cool people to the comments section. It really, really helps. And since I'm kind of going through a cool like format change a little bit, um, I would appreciate that. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.